Hey everyone, it's Savannah and my Frosted Heights is completely redecorated. So I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the area. I've been absolutely loving decorating this biome alongside my community on stream and we've had so much fun putting this together. So I'm excited to share it with you today. So at the start of the Frosted Heights, once you come up the ice staircase, I've placed my winter palace. I feel like the palace here is the perfect size for this placement and I'm really happy with this kind of grand entrance into the biome here. I have a little sitting area to the left and I've also placed my ancient vacuum here in the front of the biome as well. I love this little sitting area. This rug that we got from the star path is one of the most frequently used items in this biome. So get ready to see that quite a bit. Here I have the ice fountain. My villagers love staring at this fountain, so I wanted to be sure to include it in my Frosted Heights. If you guys are enjoying seeing the biome tour so far, be sure to give this video a like. I would so appreciate that. Okay, please excuse this rock cluster here. I did not see that <laughs> when I was cleaning up, but over by this little pond here, we have a little igloo village set up. I've placed in that little light up deer set in the back and an ice rink, which you'll, you'll see throughout this biome a lot as well. Also, I love this path that I went with. It's one of the ancient landing paths. And I prefer this so much more than the snowy brick path. I feel like this one just, I don't know, it really shows the snow better and I love it. So next to the little pond, I have Anna Kristoff and Olaf's home placed right here, Anna's lovely blue ice castle. And to the right of that, you can see Kristoff's stall and I've just kind of placed some rock clusters going right up to his stall. So I love their castle here. I think it looks really pretty and you can see it from across the river on the other side of the Frosted Heights too. So let me clean up some more of this stone. I'm definitely gonna need this to craft more path. Okay, you can see my little fox checking out Kristoff's sled here. I ended up putting a snow buddy and finding a great place to showcase this little snow globe on top of a crate next to the sleigh. So just a kind of little filler build, but I wanted to showcase that item somewhere. Here I have just a bunch of path branching off into my little mining nodes. And that is basically what's happening back here as well. I really liked using these little ice skating rinks basically as like another water feature in the biome and they're great because it has lighting and a seat on it. So I found myself using these quite a bit throughout my Frosted Heights and I really like the addition of them. Okay, Ariel, um, you might want a jacket. It's a bit cold up here. <laughs> Let's cross the river here into the other side of the Frosted Heights. This one I wanted to feel a bit more nature inspired. So I mixed in a bit more of the snowy trees and I also brought in my blueberry bushes, which was a new addition to the Frosted Heights that I didn't have them up here before, but I really like them. The pop of blue is nice throughout the biome and I love just like extra stuff to put up here because it can be kind of hard to decorate the Frosted Heights. So because I ended up using so many ice skating rings in this biome, I wanted to include the ice skating shoe rack as well as a little seat to put your skates on. So I wanted to display that right here. Of course, I have the pillar next to this as well. Let me just scooch myself back on this way so you can kind of see as if we came from next to the Winter Palace and go across this lovely bridge right into this little village area. In the center, I have the ice skating rink as well as my well, as well as my well. <laughs> yeah, so that is just this little kind of filler centerpiece area. And then behind this, next to our ice skating rack, we have goofy stall and I ended up using the permafrost clouds on top of it to kind of help cover it up and make it fit more into the biome and I wanted to use these permafrost clouds however I decorate on switch I probably would have included them all throughout this entire biome if I could but since I have a low item limit I ended up just using them over goofy stall. 
I know I always say this, but I feel like I cannot say it enough until hopefully maybe one day it comes true. I would love to see some customization options for Goofy's stall because this one just doesn't really totally suit the Frosted Heights. Anyway, on the other side of this area here, we have a little seating area surrounding the ice fountain. And I just love this cozy little nook. And then across from that, I have the Frosty Fortress, which is a lovely house. However, it is a bit difficult to show you because the house is so tall, but I really like the placement of it here. It's kind of tucked away nicely in the mountainside. And I can't wait to decorate the inside of this house as well as the Winter Palace. Decorating both of those houses as well as so much more is definitely coming on my channel soon. So be sure to like and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the walkthrough of my Frosted Heights. If you're interested in seeing the streams where we built this biome, I will definitely link those in the description bar. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.